Welcome back to Let's Play Not Another Needle Contest Part 8. Alright, so in the last video I actually forgot to change my skin. I apologize about that. Uh, let's check with the shop and see what we can get. Alright, we got six. Six of the secret spikes, okay? So I'm able to get a lot actually. Let's choose a skin first. What about the crimson one? Yeah, why not? This one seems cool. And maybe a fitting bullet for that? Spike. Sure, why not? Alright. Looks good. <laughs> okay, let's check out the next stage then. Forgot which one is up next already. <laughs> Should really play this game more frequently. Um. 17th place. Alright, this area was made by Perkin. It's called Lavender Box. I like the title already from the screenshot. The score is 7.4 out of 10, and the difficulty shouldn't be too bad. 2.5 stars. Alright. What is this gimmick? Didn't a vine just appear on the top left? Oh, you can. Alright, maybe that was a bug. So this allows you to shoot a vine onto walls. Well, that's really interesting, wow, okay. <laughs> but only once. So I'm assuming I want the vine to be here. Yeah, that works. Alright then, this is a really cool gimmick. Alright, nice. I wonder if the blue square is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna allow me to place a water block then. That makes sense, right? Oh, I wonder if that was wrong. Yeah, I think I can't grab onto that. I need to plan ahead a little bit more. <laughs> Seems like. Really enjoying the concept of art this stage. I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to get that. I can't quite reach that wall though. It seems kind of tight, but looking at it, I don't see another solution <laughs> to this. Yeah, it's probably just a tight jump then. Alright, there we go. That took a few attempts. Okay, I still don't know what this does. But since I can't backtrack... Wait. I can only use this once though, right? So... Aren't I... supposed to backtrack then? I need to figure out what this does. It probably turns the block into a water block. Or not. Oh, it's a... It's a gravity vine. Alright, I really didn't expect that one. But, alright, okay. I was really confused on how a water block would help me on the screen, but okay, this makes much more sense. And back to this jump crate. Alright, got it again. Now I think it doesn't matter where I use it. Really now? <laughs> Alright, I gotta step up my game here. Shoot. Switch. And we're done. Nice. Alright, next screen. Wasn't that obvious what the gimmick was all about, but sure. Okay. Now we got triggers. A 
I like the faces on the spikes. Those are cute. So you can also tell which ones are moving. Even though it should be obvious, really. The visuals are really, like... I'm really impressed by them. Okay, we got fruit. Okay, I guess that's... Is this block important? Ah, maybe it will be. I'm guessing once I hit the blue switch, water will... Yeah. Pour down from it. Which will make the backtrack possible. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. Now it doesn't matter, does it? Oh no, this must be water 3. Looking at the portal? Yeah, okay. That makes much more sense. Or no, it's actually water 1. All of you know. That's fine though. Usually not the biggest fan of that type of water, but... Didn't seem to be an issue here. Oh, the background changed as well. Oh! Alright, so I just have a certain amount of time where these cherries won't kill me, so I need to get to this part quickly. Nice. Um, can't shoot these, they probably just kill me then. Oh wait, I can actually go outside. Ah, uh, that's not good. I was probably to go right away. I meant to go right away. Yeah, I need to do everything again and that'll allow me to get onto the vine, grab the double jump replenisher and deactivate the red cherries. I see. But I think I also need to re-hit the yellow one. I, I'm not too sure. That's... The timing for this isn't obvious to me as of now, but I'm sure it will eventually just work out. Okay. Oh, no blocks. Didn't pay attention to that. Do I still have time? Yeah. Okay. That was very smart of me. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to those spikes up there. No, no, I just have to... Oh, I see. It doesn't allow me to jump back into the level. I need to loop around one more time. Alright, so this appears to be a rather long save then. But it shouldn't be too difficult gameplay-wise. And I'll go first. I'm guessing I have lots of time for the red ones. Why do I always... I, I keep forgetting, forgetting that those are not solid blocks, even though it does make sense, since you fall through at the very beginning. I right, need to pay more attention to what the layout actually looks like. Remember the blocks? What? <laughs> I still hit the ceiling somehow. Didn't expect to though, that's why I stuttered. Oh well. The screen is giving me trouble apparently. Also, oh you don't have to do this cherry latch at all. I've just realized you can just loop around like that. So yeah, okay, that maneuver wasn't intended. Oh well.
All right. Ah, okay, there we go. Nice, got it. All right, new gimmick. Do those hurt you? Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Seems like they don't. They the cherry doesn't spawn a lot of them. Oh, these ones bounce. Okay, and the other ones stay. Also, get like harder. <laughs> okay, I thought the previous cherries would like get removed. But, okay, this makes this a lot more interesting. Liking this idea. What? That just changed my speed. What is happening in this level? It's interesting though, I love it. Well, that's not good. <laughs> okay, saved it somehow. So, pay attention to your speed change. And this flips to gravity, of course. Okay, now it's everything together. Just need to get into the portal though, that's the last objective. And that should be done. Thank you for playing. Dude, this area was excellent. Actually, n nothing to complain about this. The gimmicks, it had a few gimmicks actually. Each screen was like really unique. The visuals were really cool, the music fit, and really fun gameplay. 17th place. Wow. <laughs> So we'll get like 16 more areas that'll be like better than this one, I can't believe it. This one was really good, honestly. <laughs> really, really good. Alright. Let me find the judge feedback then for this stage. Perkin. Another relatively inoffensive stage for the most part. Some of the gimmicks are a little unclear as to what they do at first. Yep, that's what I've noticed. Like, you need to really encounter them first, and you'll probably die the first time around, but at least you can figure out what they do. It's not really explained, but I mean, it's, it's still not that hard that it's like at a point where it's frustrating or something. So I didn't mind it too much, but maybe a few signs could have been put into that area. Alright, let's not waste any more time. 16th place, made by... well then. <laughs> Joao T4 is probably pronounced that right? No. <laughs> um, Rainbow Space Madness. Alright, so another spacey stage. We get a lot of them. Let me actually go back then and change the skin since I have like enough secret spikes for that, right? You got like an astronaut costume that I, that I could use for that then. If it's a space station. Which one of these though should I use? Well, since it's a station, I guess this one would fit. So we have a few. I think I'll keep the spike shots though, they look pretty cool. And I guess they fit the grey costume as well. So let's check it out. What was the rating? 7.5. Difficulty? Oh, okay, this is pretty, pretty simple. 1.5 stars out of 5. Alright, let's check it out. Okay, I'm liking the background effect already. So it's sticking to its rainbow theme here. Okay, we got walk the ceiling gimmicks and rotating spikes. They probably have a name. Shurikens, right? Yeah. Oh wait, <laughs> that's not what you want to do. 
Instead, just do this um, ceiling double diamond. That's a smarter option here. Okay, now I can jump into the fruit. Wait, I want, I want to do it the cool way. Yeah. And again. Ah, alright. I shouldn't try skips that I like, don't do anything. Except wasting time. And alright, drop time. I like drops like these. Much space, but still interesting to traverse through. Ah, these are the fire vines that make you go really far. Ah, we got a triple jump, don't forget. Oh, we don't anymore. Alright, this is just about like fun gameplay, I feel like. The, not really that much threats. I feel like. Alright. Yeah, this area is definitely on the easier side. But... Doesn't make it worse than the other ones. It's actually pretty relaxing. Since I think in the previous video we had some we had some pretty challenging ones. So this is a nice change of pace. Alright now we can just finish neat. So many gimmicks are being introduced here. But in a good way, like I can't believe I dodged that. Like, it's always clear what you have to do next. Nothing seemed, like, confusing so far. Which is really good. Alright, nice screen. Liking this so far. Infinite jump. Oh, we got a little avoidance section. Well, I call it avoidance. You have to actually go to the right here. I like this though. Especially the effect on those projectiles. <laughs> Oh, they stop here, of course. It would be kind of unfair if they kept going or coming from the right. That was really cool. I kind of want to do it again. Like, that was really fun. It's not much happening. It just really looks nice and fits the area. Alright. Big fan. Big fan. And a boss as well. Nice, dude. So this is probably also a pretty short area, if it ends after this one. Okay, liking the attack so far, pretty simple. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was not a good spot to stand in, you probably want to be like on the right side for that. Even though it looked like you could fit through one of those gaps, that's probably not what you want to do for that. Wonder what's the best spot to stand in for this. Probably around here. We can also go to the right a little bit. Oh, that was that was a bad choice. So the big star definitely homes in on you. Yeah, okay, just avoid <laughs> it to the right. Don't actually stand there. Even though, okay, that one didn't look that possible to avoid. I want to go down. Alright, this attack can be scary. Oh, another star. I should seriously avoid these. These can be pretty dangerous. Another one. Looks like he's close to being defeated. Oh, I won't risk it. I won't risk it. And, okay, it looks like the final blow. Let's get up. And there we go. Alright. Nice boss. Is that it? Or... 
is there more? Looks like a transition of some sorts, really, at one <laughs> Wait, what? There wasn't a save? Or was there and I didn't save? <laughs> what? what? What just happened? <laughs> Well, either way, I don't mind, like, this one was, was a fun boss to fight, but I think I've missed the save point. And if I didn't, well... <laughs> wow. I don't think you could have avoided that, really. Oh, that was a close dodge. I risked it, but it was worth it. Okay, that was like a quicker kill, definitely. Yes, I did miss the save point. I probably run through it with a, like while shooting, but I did it like this and I didn't actually hit it. So, yeah, that was on me. <laughs> nice. Oh, it just stays there. Great. Yes. Okay, what is this? Oh, just a clear screen. Okay. So yeah, apologies for that. What what just happened? <laughs> I really... I don't know. I missed the save there. It was unfortunate. But I really didn't expect uh, like an end troll there, so... I probably didn't take saving that serious. Alright. I mean, what can I say? I really enjoyed this area as well. Gameplay-wise, it was fantastic. And the boss was really enjoyable as well. Graphics can't complain. Like at least like this rainbow stage didn't have like flashing images, which like some other rainbow stages I knew I know tend to use, which is like not my favorite thing, but these graphics actually look pleasant to me. So yeah, short fun area, pretty much. Okay, so Judge feedback, here we go. This is a fun beginner difficulty stage, but it may have gone too deep with the variety of objects that it uses. The best stages use a few gimmicks in different ways to make something interesting. It was still good enough though to fall into tier 4. Yeah, yeah like some screens had like a massive amount of gimmicks, but it like it didn't feel overwhelming, right? It's like not that much going on that it was like confusing like some of the other areas. Um, I feel like which which one could I point out? I don't know where they were exactly. Was not in tier three. All right, that's surprising. Yeah, this one. Like this is just gimmicks everywhere and it I guess since this area is actually supposed to be hard it's also a little puzzly like with what you need to do uh, to actually traverse through the area but since the difficulty of the one we've just played was like really simple I, I think it wasn't like a, a bad thing so hopefully that didn't drain any points I mean 16th place that's pretty high up there, so yeah, well deserved. Um, Alright, last area for this video, 15th place, made by Breed Pineapple, Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom, alright. I didn't check, uh, forgot to check. No, these ones did not have a secret to get, so I didn't miss anything. Alright. And also, this one, no secret there. Uh, right, same difficulty as place 17, but the rating is higher, well obviously. Hey, let's check it out. I think this graphic, these graphics, like, will stay high quality from now on. Okay, so blocks that disappear once you touch them. Can definitely use this gimmick in a creative way. I like the animation when the blocks disappear. Okay, seems like this area tends like uses mini spikes instead of big spikes. 
Which I don't know, kind of fits to a tempo themed level. Also, I'm still wearing my suit, which I guess doesn't fit all that well, but. I don't know, should I go back and switch it? Yeah, why not? I mean, a little bit more variety couldn't hurt. Since, like, <laughs> I didn't switch the costume, like, at all on the uh, last episode. So I only have one left. I guess I can... What fits to a temple? I, I still don't know what this thing is supposed to be. It just looks like a mountain to me. Well, let's get it. Oh no! Really? <laughs> it's this meme. Well done. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> the VLC meme. Alright. Great, I'm gonna keep that then. <laughs> and which skin? Now oh, let's just go with the crimson uh, skin since I only used it for one area. <laughs> the sound effect here. <laughs> Great. Yeah, definitely was not, not a mountain or anything like that. Just was hard to make out since it was colorful. I, That's not where I want to be. <laughs> Nice track though, nice track. Alright, now let's do this for real. <laughs> it sounds... Every time I save now it's gonna play that sound, that's great. Okay, can we first try this again? Hell yeah. I mean, I didn't first try it the other time. I checked out the... blocks. Alright. I like this uh, little detail here, the arrows. Oh, that's really nice attention to detail like that. I was supposed to use the vine. <laughs> Alright. Really nice gameplay so far, once again. Probably wanna save my double jump. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that vine to appear here. Alright, nice. This is really just fun to get through. <laughs> I feel like the commentary is like the same for like each area. <laughs> but I mean, they're pretty similar, right? As like the rating as well is pretty similar. But I mean, they are definitely each area is unique in its own way. Just running out of things to point out. <laughs> Well, that, that was a good... Oh, alright. That might be trickier than it looks, actually. Nice! Alright, that took a little while, actually. Whoa, what is that jump on the bottom? That looks treacherous, alright then. Oh, I didn't need to jump there. Oh, I see! Uh, those spikes switch when you jump. Okay, I just noticed that. Yeah, I... I don't know why I jumped that early, but okay, that's gonna work. There's probably a much easier way, <laughs> but this screen is tricky for me, I don't know. Alright, for some reason that was a really hard screen for me. 
Right, next area. And now, actually introducing this gimmick. Still mini spikes though, like it. Let's see. I think that was the right approach. Yeah. Oh, spikes. That's always something I dislike with this gimmick. I never know where you can like actually safely jump to check where the spikes are without dying to them. Oh, I guess you can also go up like that. I'm glad there wasn't more to it at the end. Oh, that didn't quite work out. Alright, this is getting pretty challenging, honestly. Right. I see. Nice. Okay. Didn't fell for the trick there. Oh what? I don't like the looks of this. I really don't. You have to do a low jump, right? Ah, this sucks. Ah, really? At the very end? Maybe could have walked off there, actually, all of them. I don't know. I feel like you have to do a two frame? This is really confusing to me. If you have to though, that's mean, honestly. Oh, alright.
Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I completely forgot that that would happen. <laughs> Okay, wow. All right. Thank you for playing. All right. Created by Breed Pineapple. Well then. I don't know what it was about that like last segment of the area. I just maybe I didn't really cooperate with the um, It wasn't the design, I think it's just a gimmick itself. I I can't like I don't know. <laughs> Not the hugest fan of that specific gimmick, but it was still a fun area. Just like got Kind of hard for me at the end and like felt like it had really long and well punishing uh endings to each screen i don't know if you had to do the two frame there like on the second to last screen but yeah the just the last two screens i feel like were like could could have been a little better but i i don't know that's just my thought Let's see what the judges thought of this area. That was interesting to read. Uh, Bree Pineapple. The judges praised the visuals in the stage for uh, contributing to a distinct style. A few segments had to be nerfed from the original versions, specifically those containing difficult timing with the fire sp uh, spinning statues. Yeah, those were like. It was hard to time. Yeah, it was this segment right here as well. Like you had to just learn the timing for these fire statues, sort of. And in combination with the spike switch gimmick, it made that part really like difficult. Of course, once you knew like a strat to it, you can get it every time. But it was quite tricky to figure out for me at least. All right. But yeah. All right. So. Got through the uh, three areas as usual. Let's go up to tier 5. And it seems like this one has more stages to offer. Right? So, I don't know how I'll split, it up, uh, split it up then for the next video, but yeah, I think this wraps up this episode. Pretty fun areas we've had this uh, video. I can't complain. And it's like getting better and better, so. Pretty hyped for what's to come. But yeah, we'll check out tier 5 in the next video. Until then, take care. Watch a pick of that now on that's your habitat. I'm the first guy in the city that gave me that you hang in. She did it so on my bed on the back of guy. Boys and girls with everything between us, and that's all was never seen. Putting on a mask, why you ask if it's a rule? That's just that.